morning guys welcome to today whoa holy brightness we're in the bunny room and oh bunnies are hard tell them what happened yesterday just wait we uh, went to the barn no we woke up in the morning we came to check the bunnies and what was what were these boys doing where they are were in the female pen yep they were in the female pen so then i figured out that they jumped from there onto this thing into there but my buddy fell so then i moved that thing completely out of the way i'm like that's it and we moved them away right and then we went to the barn and did all of our running around and we came home and what happened they were still in the girls pen they both were in the girls pen and they were both in the girls pen again so anyway i fixed it again figured out something moved that shelf completely out did a bunch of stuff and was like, okay, this is not gonna happen again. And then we woke up this morning and where were the boys? In the girl's pen. They were in there again this morning. So for now, I have a blanket over here because if they can't see her from over here, I don't know, it's just how my brain is working. And then also I put another stand on here because I'm thinking there's no way they can jump from there all the way up to here, but they could jump from there to here and then over so that's what i'm trying right now i know it's not gonna work they're getting fixed this week and yeah so that's what we're gonna have to deal with also we had other bad news in the bunny department what happened what happened to the baby bunnies yesterday morning we came in and we checked them and uh, two were dead it's true two were it looked like you know how when they hold on to the to the teat or the nipple of the mom and the mom jumps away out of the pen and then two kind of got dragged with her that's what it looked like two of them were slightly out of the nest just slightly out of the nest and they were frozen like absolutely frozen no heartbeat no pulse nothing so i grabbed them with my hands as fast as i could i ran downstairs and turned on the warm water and stuck them under the warm water very carefully of course and i started trying to warm them up and what happened when i did that oh uh one moved yeah the smallest one was like oh that's better and he started moving all around and it took me about 25 minutes but i was able to um, get him warmed up with the water then wrap him in a towel and then use the hair dryer and to stimulate him and to get him going and like he was so close to gone and i saved him we saved him so i feel really proud about that he and bite you. he doesn't bite no he uh tests me to see if I'm food. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't bite. He tests to see if you're food, huh? So, um, yeah, one was too far gone, too cold, and I couldn't save him. He's a big fat guy. And the tawniest one I was able to revive. So I've been checking on them, not touching them really, just checking them, counting them, making sure they're all pink and all healthy. And the first time I checked them after that, um, it was a little not as lively as the rest and then the second time I checked them He was you couldn't even tell which one he was anymore because he's doing so well So basically I check them several times a day just to make sure everything's okay I don't pick them up or anything crazy like that, but see but just like yesterday me checking them saved one bunny's life so we put them in this big bucket and they're doing so well. Whoops. They're starting to get really furry. I don't see. Yeah, come in and see. See them all? They're getting bigger. And they're healthy. Look at how white that guy is. Look at how white that guy is. Probably the pinkest one is the one that missed a part of his life. It is super warm out. Look at all this horse pee. My feet are going to be soaking yeah. too. Gabby, we're getting winter or we're getting rubber boots this week. So last night, Journey was up at the barn and Fiona rode him and he was running around in the arena and he was so pretty. This is how it all happened. I unlatched. Okay, this the is gate. a recreation of last night. I unlatched the gate like this. It went like this and he just came up to the gate. Okay, just wait. So she unlatched the gate. Because he was way over there. All she did was unlatch it. And then she looked up and he was and he had run over here. So then she went to put the halter on put him. On his, and then Jasmine came, nipped his butt. He went, Wah! 
and pushed himself, pushed the gate open, yeah. pushed Gabby out of the way. But let's be clear, he wasn't afraid. He wasn't running to get away from Jasmine. <laughs> Once he got out, he just kind of jerked and was like, hey, she bit my blood. Woo! Woo! <laughs> no, he's eating your hair. <laughs> Can I eat your hair? It was not that long ago that I'd have been afraid of that, but actually it was so cool. <laughs> You're so sweet today. Yeah. Aw, I love that. That's Journey. Journey's That's Journey. Journey. I'd I like to buy you. the sweetest of them. Wow, look at how nice he is. <laughs> I love a cuddly horse. He He's so warm. Eat Don't eat me. Anyways, once he pushed past Gabby, he was like, ha ha, I'm going to the barn. And then she started trying to control him. And the reason that she was screaming, which she should not have been screaming, we talked about it, is that one, it was a totally unexpected expected situation and she was trying to get control and she was nervous. And two, she was trying to be bigger than, stronger than, louder than, uh, than the horse to try and act like she was the boss of him. So that he would be like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. And yeah, you guys are going to rip me apart for saying it like that. It might not be exactly the way I meant it, but she was trying to act like another horse and be like more pushy than him. And oh that was God, the... she's right there. Where? All the way down there. And that was the problem is that he wasn't, he wasn't afraid and he wasn't, and she tried other things to get him to stop. He wasn't stopping. It didn't matter. She was nice <laughs> to him. He wasn't going to stop. And I should point out that... I don't know how to say it, but Gabby's not a robot and I'm not a robot and none of us are robots. We can't just do the right thing in every single situation. Sometimes we react instead of respond because we're human and our nerves get the best of us, mostly me. Look how nice it is out here. I'm excited for spring. No. <coughs> Hi. Like I kept on trying Head to pretty. the lead rope. Up. I was like pulling onto his blanket, like stop. I couldn't went go like that because then I'd have to let go and he kept on walking. So I tried to swing it over. Good girl. I tried to swing it over and he just like walked. Yeah. Like, yeah. She's interested. She's like, what's happening? I'm going riding again? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to ride you today. And now Spencer is in behind blue spot. I don't understand what that what it is about that posture. No, they stand behind. Is that because blue is keeping is it because Spencer wants to sleep and blue is standing guard? Cuz it kind of looks like blue is sleeping on the job too. So he's got a letter from one of our subscribers, one of our friends and it's Maddie. Some of you guys might have seen her before and she's a friends with Kaylee. Okay, go ahead open that. She wrote us a really nice letter and she was going to mail it to us, but then she ran into us today. So what a perfect time to give it to us. Beautiful letter. She included, what did you include? Uh, rabbit care. And rabbit care. How come you included rabbit care? Because I have a bunny and you guys are new rabbit owners. That's right. And because maybe we could give you another bunny. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm lonely. Do you really want another bunny? I do. Okay. I really so this is her amazing letter in all different colored marker and it's big yeah i love that it's cool. so i'm gonna read this when we go home okay <laughs> okay so he's having black licorice is this the first time yeah what do you think <laughs> oh i can smell it oh she sabrina's like oh, i want more oh, oh. <laughs> give me more they're yummy they're yummy <laughs> You like it? There are so many little girls here today. It's so fun. I emailed about a horse that seems like it could be a really good fit for us. I posted a video of him, two videos of him on our Facebook page, but the only problem with him is that he's 17.1 hands high, which is exactly this height. And it might be a problem with Sophia. But look, Sophie, they tack him up by yeah. using a stool. And you're taller than me, so. Yeah, and you're taller than Molly. And you, can, But I just don't know how well she'd ride him though, because she's got little legs, short little, you have short little legs and you ride him. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. How do you feel about him? What do you feel about his height? Too tall. Too tall? Do you want to try a little ride with him? That would be really awesome. So today, is a riding with friends episode we're just discussing how we might want to do this every sunday 
So how come you're not riding yet? Do you, are you gonna ride today? How come? I'm tired. Do you guys like her new glasses? Mm. I like them. So we're gonna let Sophie ride Ben. Just for a few minutes so she can see. Just so you can to. see. We're gonna try and get her to ride Ben so she can see if she likes him. You're gonna jump her? Okay, are you sure? Because she might refuse. I'm good with that. Okay, let's see it. Okay. All right. Hi, Ben. Let's do it. Alright, Gabby. Kaylee's gonna show you that Sabrina is an awesome jumper. It's gonna happen. All right, Sophie's gonna try. Mom, try riding Ben. Are you okay? You feel nervous? Yeah, I'm gonna walk beside you. You want me to walk? Oh, come on. Me and Ben are best friends. Okay. Do you feel nervous up there? Yes. No, I think you're okay. Do you think that you're just nervous because you're not used to him? It is a way too long to stop. Okay, well let's see you trot him. First you gotta walk him by yourself. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Don't run over Molly. You can take charge, just like Sabrina, except for he listens better. He's a big horse. You nervous? Yay or nay? Yay. Yay? He's like, yay. He's like, hmm, maybe I could eat you. He likes to lick. So you like how broad, how big he is? You just take yeah, getting used to him. I fit ben ben <laughs> really? Why? Because. And then we got Gabby on Ben. Long, but who cares? Is this the first time you've ever ridden him? <coughs> you want me to help you, Molly? Well, with yeah. the saddle on, yeah. Oh my god. Ben again. You want to ride Ben again? Ben We're going to go try that other horse then. <laughs> Sabrina, she's doing so well. Okay. Oh, baby, I love your madness. It's so incredibly
bouncy? Bring his tail. Look how long it got. Look how long it is. Almost touching the floor. Oh, it is touching the floor. Yeah, a little bit of it is. We're gonna cut it. So, basically, I'm gonna get it all in my hand. She has a lot of tail. Some clearance there now. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.